A transformation is underway inside the 80-year-old mural room at the Santa Barbara County Courthouse. It's getting a facelift and should be open to the public soon. News Channel 3's Victoria Sanchez joins us live from the courthouse tonight. And Tori, you got a sneak peek today. That's right, CJ, I did. This is a $600,000 restoration project. And now, while the doors won't be open until June to the public, we took a very special tour inside today. It's, a, it's, the, it's the history of Santa Barbara, starting with the Chumash Indians and then the uh, coming of Cabrillo. The mural room restoration is nearly complete. But to see the transformation, you have to go up. Um, this is about 26 26 feet to the uh, to the cornice. In 1929, the plaster walls were covered in canvas and painted. And after 86 years and a fire in 2010, it needed some sprucing up. This is our little piece of history when there was the fire, the smoke fire. The mural creator, Dan Grosbeck, spent years as a Hollywood scene artist and added a few things to the painting that even locals might not know about. Peter Pan, it's, it's a, a painting of Peter Pan. And uh, he, he has put that in there. I mean, it's, it's nothing to do with Santa Barbara. Kumiko Hisano was a part of the team to clean up the artwork and says it will last for many more years to come. I was so honored to be here to start with working on this uh, beautiful mural. Um, and then um, the reaction that we get from the people who visit, people who work here, it's amazing. The scaffolding will soon come down and the room will once again be filled with visitors. It is a magnet. I mean, people plan years in advance to, to come here. The Courthouse Legacy Foundation has a new project. They will restore the archway at the courthouse, and they're going to be raising money for that starting next year. Now, the mural room will open in the beginning of June, and there's already a wedding scheduled for that first weekend. It opens its doors to the public. Live in Santa Barbara, Victoria Sanchez, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you, Tori. Can't wait to see it in person. Yeah, a change, of course.